Carl here with you. Third round of the North Carolina High School Athletic Association playoffs. And Swain County High School gym is rocking tonight, folks. The Lady Devils hosting Polk County in a showdown for who moves on with a state championship on the line. Loser goes home. Student body is here in force. The cheerleaders here in force. And a maroon crowd on the opposite side on their feet for this match to get underway. Polk County comes in as the Western Highlands champions. Swain County, the Smoky Mountain Conference champions. You got two number one seeds. The two met last year in the playoffs. Same round, five game match with the Lady Devils advancing. So Polk County looking for a little bit of revenge and we're just a few moments away. The first whistle and Kayla Myers will serve it up first for the Lady Devils. Polk County to attack first. It's soft, Swain will go on the offensive. And we've got a violation on Swain for being over the line and Polk County will take an early lead, one to nothing, serving for the Lady Wolverines is Nikki Williams and there's a back set for Crawley on the outside and she goes out and it's two zip Polk early going. We'll have to see if the nerves settle down for the Lady Devils. The crowd is already highly energized into this. Good pass from Manley, back set to Crawley. She goes at it again, cross court, crushed right at him, but they pull it out. Denise Williams for Polk, hits it into the net, and it's 2-1. Polk County with the lead, Kayla Crawley to serve. The front for Swain, Alicia Lambert, Auburn Lowe, Lauren Manley with Kayla Myers to set. Short serve, Polk County to set outside. Cross court and out, and we're tied at two each. The hit from Brittany Phipps is out. And we've got, I don't know what we've got. We've got over the line again on Swain, and that could be a factor tonight, folks. That's the second time in four points that that infraction has been called on Swain. Denise Edwards to serve Polk with a 3-1 lead now after the lane violation. That one's over. Haley Hyatt with the pass outside to Manley. She dinks it, pushed back over immediately. Hyatt's got it again. Swain sets again outside to Manley with the left hand pulled. Back set to her again. She goes soft. Polk County's got that. They go middle, blocked by Lambert. There's a carry on Polk, 3-2. Alicia Lambert with a big block in the middle. Off Sarah Angier, the middle hitter for Polk County, their biggest player. Lambert to serve. Burns moves to the front to go with Manley now. Diving stop. Polk County to attack. They get nothing, and we're tied at three. As you can see, this one's going to go back and forth all night until we get a winner out of this. Lambert to serve again. The student body section on the cross the way still has not set down. Lambert's up and over with that one. Pushed up by the libero. Back inside to Angier. Myers dives and saves it. Manley attacks. Polk County scrambles. They're going to get it back across. Swain to set the offense again. Burns in the middle. Down with a kill. 4-3. That brings the Swain side to their feet on the opposite side. And the Lady Devils with their first lead of the night. 4-3. This is third round action, also playing tonight. Hiawassee Dam hosting Rosman, the winner of this match, will play the winner of that one. To Angier in the middle, Crawley digs it beautifully. Outside, back to Manley, she dinks it. Polk trying to attack, Lambert dives, Myers dives, Manley tries to push it over, but it's 4-4 on the outside hit from Brittany Phipps. Phipps will serve now for Polk. That one's up and over hard. Manley's got it. Has to move Myers. Crowley will attack anyway, and that one's over. Pushed. Myers digs it. Burns sets it. Manley, and it's played back over. Set to Burns again in the middle. She crushes it, and it's 5-4 swing on the hit. Communication could be a real key tonight for both teams as this crowd noise 
is probably louder than they have seen in a while, so communicating on the court is going to be a factor in this match. Auburn Lowe serves it. Outside hit down the line. Lambert's got it. Lowe will set it. She pushes it outside to Manley. He doesn't get it across the net, and we're tied again at five. Polk County comes into tonight's match with a 16 and five overall record out of the Western Highlands. Swain with a 26 and one record. And that was pushed to the right spot and it's down point for Swain. Anna Burns finds the open hole, 6-5. To serve will be Manley back on the front. It's Kayla Crowley and Anna Burns. The biggest front line the Lady Devils can put out there. It's close, pushed over and that one's caught by Crowley. Swain to attack. Crowley goes at it off the block, and it's going to make it over. Lambert's on that back row. She's got it. Push back outside to Crowley again, and that one's down. And the Swain crowd erupts again. 7-5, biggest Swain lead of the night as the Lady Devils making some inroads with this front line that they have now. Manley with a serve. Good spot for it. The libero pulls it. They go dink, Auburn Lowe's there. Myers to push it outside to Crowley. She goes cross court again. Three people fight for it. Now Burns is going to take a rip. Back to Phipps again, who's got it. Cross court, Lambert pulls it. Can they get to it? Manley gets it, but she goes into the maroon, and it's out. You cannot play it into the maroon area. So that will be a point for Polk County at 7-6. to serve the libero, Katie Wilson. Burns, former setter herself, sets Crowley, who goes to the back row with it. Pole goes outside to Maggie Connor. Good dig by Lambert. Outside to Crowley, off the block. Burns picks it up, back to Crowley, dinks it. Looked a little bit like a push, but it'll go. Crowley going at it again, cross court, that one's down. She hits that one hard right at Brittany Phipps, who can't dig it. And it's 8-6 Swain. Anna Burns to serve. And it was the other night against Avery in a similar situation where Burns reeled off 11 straight serves to give Swain control of game one in that match. Connor is blocked. And that's out off the kill. And it's a point for Swain. 9-6 now. Three-point advantage for the Lady Devils, their biggest of the evening. Polk County out of the gate early, grabbing the early lead, and Swain is battled back. Burns to serve her second time around. They go right at Phipps, and she has trouble with it. Lambert pulls it. Myers sets it to Crawley, who's uncontested. The block gets there, but it gets late. They go middle to Lambert, who finds a dink, and she's got a point with a good play spot. And that's 10 6, a four point lead for Swain. And we got a substitution on the Polk County side. Polk County's coaching staff not at all happy. Not sure if that was with uh, Phipps or who that was with, but she was not at all happy. And a quick substitution brings Alyssa Montgomery into the match for the first time. Polk looking to attack, it's tight. Lambert wins the battle at the net, that's 11-6. And just like with Avery, Swain starting to pull away on the Anna Burns serves. Burns to serve again. That one's deep played, and it's another point for Swain. And we're at 11, 12, 6. Swain has doubled it up. Still no sign of a timeout on the Polk County side. And there it is. Timeout, Polk County with Swain up 12, 6. They're back following the Polk County timeout. Anna Burns still serving. It was 7, 6 when she took over. And now it is uh, 12, 7 after the Burns serves. So Swain in the lead now, 12-7, following the timeout. Polk goes to Denise Edwards, and she delivers. Now to serve will be number four of their other outside hitter, Maggie Connor. Let's see where they go. Polk uses a lot of directional serves, going right at certain people. This time they go at Haley Hyatt, and that's blocked by Denise Edwards on the Kayla Crowley hit, and Polk has trimmed it to 12-8 at this point. Connor still serving for the Wolverines. It's at Crawley. She struggles with it, pushed by Manley and Swain. Free balls one over. Edwards goes for the dink, and it's right in the middle for the kill. 
12-9. As Polk County has stemmed the tide, something Avery County could not do on Tuesday, and they're right back in this thing. That one's up and over. Crawley's got it. Swain should get an attack. It'll be Crawley. She dinks it. They pull it out. They'll go back to Edwards, who's been their hot hitter, and another dink. And it finds the hole behind the line on Swain, and we're back to a two-point Swain advantage at 12-10. It certainly doesn't look like this Polk group is going to be intimidated, and they're not going anywhere easily. That's Crawley. She crushes that one, and it is Ian finding that back row with what amounted to a drop hit. The ball dropped once it got across that uh, block line, and it was in, and it's 13-10 now as Myers goes back for her second rotation at serve. Myers a good directional server. She finds the spot. That one gets over. Auburn Lowe's got it. The set will go middle to Lambert. She goes cross court, and it is in on that line, and we've got a 14-10. He's got it. He's got it. And there's the call of in, and so it will be Swain Point. It looks like the officials are going to talk about it. This is a crew, a neutral crew out of the uh, Boone, Watauga, down to Gastonia booking area, and it's going to be Point Swain. And in this third round, both athletic directors and athletic programs opt to go with four officials rather than using the team side judges. That one's short, picked up by Katie Wilson. Outside, that one's deep and out from uh, Brittany Phipps. And Swain still serving, back up to a 15-10 lead behind Kayla Myers, the junior. There's that short one that she always gets in. And that's blocked by Edwards, pulled by Crawley. Back set to Manley on the back row. She stands and drives it. Polk to attack again outside to Phipps. She pulls it low with a good dig back to Crawley. She finds the soft spot, but right there for it is Polk County. Edwards drives, Heights got it. Longest volley of the night, perhaps. Crawley goes at the crush, and she's got another point. Connor could not do anything with that one, and it's uh, 16-10. Swain back up to that six-point lead that they held, and now Myers to serve again. Remember, she is a Almost notorious for change up, then fastball. Here's the change up again, short. Lambert's got it, she drives it, and Edwards pulls it out. Phipps will get an attack. Hyatt can't get there, and it's a point for Polk County. Nice job on the line by the Polk County front players, and it's a 16 to 11, Swain lead. Right at Crawley and hard. Myers has got it, Manley will stand and drive. She gets nothing on that one. So we're at 16-12 again. This one's going to balance back and forth, it looks like, for most of the night. Swain in a four-point lead right now. Hyatt's got that one off. Manley will bump that one over. So Swain, no attack on that one. That's not something Swain can settle for on a continual basis. That one's on that line and good. 16-13. And in this rotation with the... Polk County with Edwards and, and uh, Phipps on the front line. They are making some inroads into the Swain lead. Now back to three. Game one, if you're just joining us, best of five. Serving for Polk County is Nikki Williams. That one's up and over hard. Crawley with an excellent pass out of that. Goes right back to her. She drives it off the block. And it's a kill for the Lady Devils. Kayla Crawley is now off the front line and serving with Swain leading it by four, 17-13. So let's see what Crawley goes with. Looks like it could be a long match, but she's going to stand and serve this one. She does have the jump serve in her arsenal. Edwards on the kill. Crawley's got it, but can't get to it. She couldn't make a pass out of that. Edwards with the kill. So to serve now will be Edwards, who rotates off the front row. She was uh, their main weapon during that run, cutting it back to three. That one's short. Crawley's got it. And that's going to be close to the net for Manley. She finds a soft spot with the left hand, and she is excellent at that, fans. 
If it's your first time to Swain Volleyball, that's a, a trait Lauren Manley brings. She hits with either hand, and it's very tough to pick up. So a four-point lead with Alicia Lambert to serve. Swain with their uh, five seniors on the court, joined by Kayla Myers, the junior setter. In the middle of burn, she's blocked. Auburn Lowe's with it, blocked again. And that's a carry on Myers, and she couldn't pull it. And we're at 18-15. So the big block of Sarah Angier on that front row, and she is definitely the, their biggest block by far on that front row. And that's the first service error we've seen out of Polk. And it'll return serve over to Swain for Auburn Lowe to try to make some inroads for the Lady Devil here with it 19-15, still a four-point advantage for Swain. That one's up and over a knuckleball, if you will. Played, and it gets over. Myers will have to play that. Burns will set it to my Manley on the outside. She drives it, and Polk County will set to Angier in the middle. Crowley's got that one. Myers hits in with the kill. Instead of setting, Kayla Myers went up for the kill that time, and it's crossed up the Polk County defense, and it's a five-point advantage for the Lady Devils. Auburn Lowe to serve again. That one's hard, and it's out. Lowe got up behind that one just a little bit too much, and she serves it out. So the first service error for Swain brings it back to four points in favor of the Lady Devils. Serving now is Caitlin Franks for the Wolverines. There's Manley. It's blocked. Hit twice by Burns as it rolled down her chest, and we're at 2017. Student body on the other side still has not sit down. Much to their credit, they are in this match. Crowley's got it. Auburn Lowe will have to do something with it. Burns finds the deep spot in the deep corner that's open. A little miscommunication on Polk's part. Burns will hit on two, and it's going to drop off the block. So we're up to 21. Swain now four away from taking game one. And what looks like it's going to be a barn burner to the finish. Lauren Manley will serve. Her, Alicia Lambert, and Auburn Lowe are on the back row. That's a back set to Wilson, the libero. Crawley with the pass. Crawley with a kill attempt, and she's got it. Kayla Crawley, 22-17 lead, and into the match will be Alyssa Montgomery for Brittany Phipps. And we've got a shoe timeout, shoe string untied. Action fast and furious here. Third round of the North Carolina High School Athletic Association volleyball playoffs. These two teams met the exact same circumstances last year, exact same spot. It was a five-game match. That one did not make it over. So Swain at 23, two points away from a win here in game one. Can they score two before Polk County scores eight is the question. Manley to serve. Be Connor to attack. She goes hard at it and she gets it down in front of Alicia Lambert. So Polk County answers the bell and coming back to the front line for them will be Denise Edwards. And that has been problems for the Lady Devils so far. She's been the most potent Polk County attack. Auburn Lowe's got it. Myers sets Crawley, Crawley across. Court and that's going to be into the stands and one point away now in game one at 24 to 18 with Anna Burns to serve it. Burns serve is up and over. The libero runs in front to play it. Outside hit to Edwards. She's soft with it. Burns pulls it. And Crowley gets an attack swing, takes game one on the Anna Burns incredible dig, 25 to 18. And we are set for game two, Polk County to serve it. Swain to attack first is the way you gotta look at it. Kayla Myers tries to find the hole and Denise Edwards does find the hole. And Polk's up one to nothing. Nikki Williams is serving again deep to Manley. Myers has got it, sets Crawley, and that's awful block. Sloppily hit, but they're going to allow it. Myers has got it. Lambert will set Crawley again. She goes outside and down the line. It's on the line for a point for Swain, and we're notched at one. 
Swain took game one. 25 to 18, an exciting match. Best of five, third round playoffs if you're just joining us. Edwards has to play that one. Connor tries to hit it. Auburn Lowe's got it back outside to Manley and it's soft and well placed as Lauren Manley is on the board here in game two and the Lady Devils have the lead. Critical for Swain to maintain the momentum and keep their crowd involved in this match. It makes it that much tougher place to play and we've got a net violation on Edwards. I believe she was called for under the net, something that plagued Swain in the early going. And now the Lady Devils with a 3-1 lead behind Crowley. Good hard serve at Connor. And I don't know what happened on that one, but the communication between setter Caitlin Franks and Denise Edwards was not there. And timeout, Polk County. After the timeout, Polk County looking to attack. It's closed. Swain not going to let that one hit the ground. That's dinked down the line, but it's going to be over. And 4-2 as Polk County stems that uh, momentum, breaks it just a little bit. Denise Edwards to serve. That brings Sarah Angier to the front, the big, tall block, and that one's a over by Myers. Angier going at it. And it was short, Haley Hyatt leaving her feet to get to that one and just couldn't get enough under it to pop it up in the air. You want to get it up in the air so your teammates have a shot at playing it over just like Anna Birds did in the end of game one on point 25. 4-3, Swain advantage. Outside to Manley, she rips it down the line, pulled out by Nikki Williams. That's cross court, pulled by Hot with one hand, and Crawley puts it up, and they get it over. Here comes Angier. That's off the block. That's off the block again and caught, but nothing called. So Swain will play on. Alicia Lambert finds the hole. And Lambert is not even trying to attack right here, folks. She's just finding the hole, and she does so excellent right there. 5-3 Swain now. Burns back to the front row. Lambert to serve. Largest crowd of the year for a volleyball matchup. An electric atmosphere here at Swain. Both teams, you can tell they're good volleyball teams, and they're putting the best show on. You could possibly imagine at this point. And there's another kill from Manley. I think coming into game two, it's probably really important to get Manley going offensively. She only had one kill in game one. She's already got two in this one. And so she is uh, getting herself motivated, get her juices flowing a little bit. There's Angier Crawley digs it. Swain goes right back to Manley again, left hand over the block, but there's somebody there. That's the advantage of having that great big block. Speaking of great big blocks, there's Anna Burns doing what she does best. Huge block on her part on that one on Haley Champion and Swain with a 7-3 advantage. Alicia Lambert still serving. Polk looks to attack to Angier in the middle. Burns blocks it again. That one looked like two hits. It'll be four hits instead. And Swain with an 8-3 advantage, five-point lead. And you can feel the momentum slipping out of Polk County just a little bit. Lambert deep. Polk pulls it. Back set to champion. She's off the block. Myers has got it. Burns, a former setter, believe it or not, at her height. And she hammers that one and that one. And it's down on that one. And we're at 9-3. The Polk County crowd going crazy over that one. But you could clearly see on your screen the ball was over the net when Burns hammered it. In to Angier, it's close. Burns wins that battle. Oh, they call her over the net. Oh, I think the official listened to the crowd a little bit on that one. Anyway, 9-4, and it'll be champion to serve for Polk County. It's up and over. Manley's got it. Myers has to dig out the pass back to Manley. And again, the hard hit does not make it over for Lauren Manley. So 9-5, Polk eases their way back into this thing ever so slightly. Need a couple more points to say they're fully back. They back set Burns, and she goes at it. That one's going to be close again. She wins the battle. No, she does not. That battle won by uh, Caitlin Franks at the net. 
and Polk back to within three, and you can see them showing some enthusiasm. Champion again to serve. Crawley's got that one. Myers outside set to Manley, who hammers that one. She finally got a hold of one. Polk keeps it alive. Angier gets it over. Here comes Swain with the attack again. They go outside. Angier is there for the block. It's hit over. Crawley's got it. To the middle of Burns, and she goes cross court, and that's going to be down. Anna Burns with a kill. Gives Swain the serve back, and uh, still the four-point lead at 10-6. Game two. Game one went 25-18 in favor of Swain. That one's off the shoulder. And Jer hits it deep, trying to get it. Oh, they got a tip on Anna Burns. She says, yes, I did. Honest young lady, a 10-7. So now Swain looking to attack off of the serve of setter Caitlin Franks. Pushed up by Crawley. Burns finds the open spot as Maggie Connor 